Now it's time for a hang printer update. I've been working on Hang Printer version 3 for a couple of months now, and as with any 3D printing project, it's had some success and it's had some failure. I have sent all the tutorials that I've created on this project over to Torbion so that he could check them out, and he had some corrections that I needed to make on the calibration video. Some of those corrections were what caused this model to fail the first time out. So let's check some of those out now. So the first change I needed to make were how the A, B, and C lines route through the mover. In the calibration video, I had you routing the A, B, and C lines through the printed part, underneath, and then to the adjuster. Torbion suggested that these need to be as short as possible, so you just need to route the A, B, and C lines to the mover, up through the bottom of the hole, and then to the adjuster. That's simpler, and it makes the lines a little shorter. So the next thing we need to change are the A, B, C, Z measurements. In the calibration video, I had you enter these as zero because I thought that's where you set the difference in between the anchor height and the build platform height. And since our anchor and our build platform were at the same height, I had you enter zero. But that's not the case. This measurement is actually for compensating for the height of the hot end and the extruder body and where the mover sets. I'll show you that now. So when you're doing all your Z measurements, A, B, C, and D, the mover needs to be at origin, or the spot in the center where you're ready to print. So with the mover at origin, when you're measuring the DZ measurement, you want to measure from the top of this D-line roller down to the top of the mover. Then your ABCZ measurements are from your build surface to the top of the mover. Mine are around 140 millimeters. Those are negative values in the software. Again, your mover needs to be at origin, and this is the measurement that compensates for the height of your hot end and your extruder body. Not everyone's is going to be the same. These are what the measurements look like after I made that correction. Again, it's the A, B, and C, Z values, and you need to enter them as a negative value. Remember, if your bed height and your anchor height aren't the same, you're going to have to adjust these values even further to compensate. I also switched from printing on a plastic plexiglass surface to just printing directly on the particle board with some hairspray on it. It seems to work out really well. During the build video, I used 5 meters of 28 gauge ribbon cable to connect the mover to the top plate. I tripled up the wires on both sides of the heater to support the load, but at some point during printing, I noticed that there was temperature dip that would eventually end up in thermal runaway. So I replaced those wires with some 18 gauge wire and that did resolve the issue. You could probably quadruple the wires up or just use some shorter ribbon cable and that would solve it as well. So after I started seeing the temperature dip issues during printing, I switched from these three soldered 28 gauge wires on the ribbon cable to just some regular 18 gauge wire. Problem solved. I would like to integrate all this into one big cable that I could disconnect at some point, but that'll be down the road. And you can see the new hot end power wires at the board side as well. I also added cinder blocks to the A, B, and C anchors because I found out on this surface those stepper motors can pull over 40 pounds, and that will ruin your print if the anchors move at all. This is my first attempt at my 300% Vinci at 0.8mm layer heights. It doesn't look so good. This is after I fixed the calibration issues, but I was still suffering from temperature drop from the inadequate gauged wires. I also enabled Z-Lift after this model, which helped greatly. This is my next attempt at my 300% Vinci. It's still at 0.8mm layer heights, but this is after I fixed the hot end temperature dip issue with the larger gauge wire, and I enabled Z-Lift. I did have some bad NG code that caused the hot end to touch the model when the print was over, but that has since been corrected. It's not the best looking Vinci in the world, but for its size and the time that it printed, just a little over 2 hours, and 0.8mm layer height, it looks pretty good. And that is the current state of my Hang Printer version 3 build. I am able to start prints pretty consistently now without many failures. This has been one of the most challenging 3D printer projects that I've ever worked on, but it's also been one of the most rewarding. There's just something about printing at this scale that makes 3D printing even more awesome than it was before. Again, a big thanks to Torbion for putting all this together. This project is under constant development and things are always changing. Please consider supporting Torbion and this project all of his information will be in the description below, and check out the GitHub page for the latest firmware releases and STL file changes. 
If you liked this video and found it helpful, please consider giving it a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel. If not, leave your thoughts in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching.